How serious is the hack on the Helium network? And does it have a short-term or medium-term or long-term impact on the Helium network? Well, we have found a suspicious network and we'll show you the criteria also in this video because it will help us answer those questions. So stay tuned. So I received a lot of messages asking me about the hack and what's going on with the hack. I checked the Discord, I was checking out the Helium communities, trying to find out what, uh, what have they reached and what's going on. But then I was like, for me to understand how big this problem is or how small is this problem is, to try to find these networks if they exist and how fast can I detect one with me just using Helium Explorer. Now, I'm not saying what I found is 100% a hacker or a scammer because I'm not a legitimate party I'm not part of the helium company to claim so I'm just saying this is a red flag network and therefore I hid the name of the hotspot and the name of the streets and the state it's all I can tell you it's in the US and that's uh, what you we should know uh, until the helium decides if this is a hacker or not for that sake this is for educational purposes this is not a legal or financial advice of any kind so uh, I thought for me to understand the impact of this whole thing I tried to find one and the criteria was very easy I tried to look in a rural area the perfect setup for a network the perfect network that can will or will generate me the most rewards so it has to do with the hexes, it has to do with the uh, you know, location, distances, elevation, all that stuff. So this is not the purpose of this video. So there are other videos in the channel that you can look, at, uh, look into. But for now, I was like, if I can find one in under one hour, then most likely there are more of them. If I don't find in one hour, I was going to cancel this video. Or I was actually, I wasn't planning to do a video to begin with but I found one under three minutes or four minutes to be exact and that shocked me so I will share with you how it looks like so you guys understand what I'm talking about um, well this is how it looks like right so this looks too good to be true so the red flag is the perfect hexagons the number of hotspots inside each hexagon up to four you're good doesn't affect you whatsoever but what's the red flag is the perfect distancing. Like look at this, from one to two, two to three, three to four. Same thing. This is one straight line. That's impossible. I, like it could be possible like one line, but then you have everything set up in a perfect shape. That's just insane. Now that's one red flag. So I thought let me check this point and this point. And another flag, sorry, another flag. These spots are like in the middle of the forest. So I was like, can this be like, seriously? Like, how is this possible? So I was like, okay, let me do a test and see things on Google Earth. So I took this spot and checked the distance to this spot. It's 3.3 kilometers. So I came to Google Earth and I found this is the location. It's a warehouse. So, again, if we consider that it's a 1.2 DPI, the lowest antenna we can find with zero elevations, you cannot achieve this unless this is on top of a mountain and this is the top of a mountain. You can achieve this. Two spots have to be on top of a mountain. Well, in reality, this line of sight is hit by so many obstacles, so trees mainly. But not just trees, like long trees, heavy and thick, and this is like a little forest right here. So it will not penetrate this. And again, it's going to hit this uh, building and another forest. Look, look at this forest. So this is impossible. So if you guys don't know what a, a red flag is, uh, like this is a big one. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but what else can be, you know so perfectly made so um, so that's the red flag now again the impact 
is dependent on how spread this virus is. Um, I'm going to do another hour once I'm done with this video. I'm going to see how many can I detect. If I detect more than five in one hour, then I will consider that this virus is well spread. Um, if I detect less than two, that means just few people that entered this network and, you know, taking advantage of it. Now, the impact on the helium network is dependent on the spread of this virus, that's for sure. But what are the solutions? Now, the solutions are most likely easy to do because the helium network community and the company uh, they're, they're just great people. I, I'm not worried about uh, the solutions that they come up with. But what if the solution is you need to install GPSs now on your hotspots? What if? I don't know. What's the answer for that? So we need to wait for the proper solution to resolve this issue because now that it's been leaked that there is a way to hack the system, you need first of all to solve this. So whoever, like ban them, blacklist them, do whatever you want. But then you need to build a layer where it cannot be done in the future. And from, you know, a perspective uh, of feeling confident, I'm happy that it happened now, not when we're 240,000 hotspots, because it's easier to fix. It's whatever it's going to take. It's better than when we are at 240,000 or when we are two years from now when we're mature. So um, it's gonna happen. I mean, uh, some people say, hey, how come Helium did not think of this? Well, I think Helium, they built a system to protect it from external hackers. They never expected that people would come in into the community and start hacking their own system. So I think they're shocked as much as we all are because you're already making pay passive income. Why do you need to just, you know, nail it to the ground, right? So it is not healthy. It's uh, I think it's going to be a short-term impact. It all depends on how to spread the virus and how they're going to resolve this. Is the solution you know, all about a software, or do they need to shut down the system? It depends. It all depends on the hub and the discussions that they reach. Um, that they reach. So for now, um, I'm going to update you whether or not I can detect five or more. If just one person or two people or three, that's not a big deal. Um, but it has to be uh, solved. And if you guys want to help the network, just do like what I did. Just go to rural areas and try to look for this perfectly set up um, you know, network. And uh, that's like the more we put our hands together, I think we can help the community and help ourselves. So uh, I will update you again uh, very soon. And if you guys like the content, please subscribe and flip that bell. And we'll talk to you soon.